Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be talking about wireless bridge mode. Now, wireless bridge mode is a feature that's built into a Wi-Fi router that wirelessly connects two networks together and makes them one network. And it does this by using a router's wireless signal to connect to another router's wireless signal to bridge the two networks together. So as an example, let's say that in this building there's an office. And this office has a network where you have computers, a server, a Wi-Fi router, and a modem with an internet connection. And we'll call this the main office. And let's say that a short distance away, in another building, this same business has a second office. And this office also has a network with computers and a Wi-Fi router, but it doesn't have an internet connection. So these two offices are part of the same business, but their networks are separated because they are in two separate buildings and the second office doesn't have internet access. So the owner of this business wants to figure out a way to combine or bridge these two networks together and make them one network. Because by creating one network, the computers in both offices will be able to directly communicate with each other. And the computers in the second office will be able to access this server and also access this modem to give them internet access. Now this can be done by using a cable to connect the two offices together. But if using a cable is not an option for certain reasons, there is another and more convenient way to do this without a cable. And that way is to set up a wireless bridge. Setting up a wireless bridge would turn these two local area networks into one local area network. So to set up a wireless bridge, the first thing you need is you need to have two Wi-Fi routers. And the type of routers we're going to use are SOHO routers, which stands for Small Office, Home Office. These are Wi-Fi routers that not only broadcast a wireless signal so that wireless devices can connect to, but they will also have a built-in switch in the back so that wire devices can be connected using Ethernet cables. So each office will have one of these Wi-Fi routers. Now, the main office's router doesn't need any special configuration to set up a wireless bridge. It's fine the way it is. You just need to know the name of the SSID, which is the name of the wireless signal, and the password. But the router in a second office needs special configuration. So you need to log in to the second office's router and go into its configuration page. Now, depending upon which router you have, finding the wireless bridge mode feature is going to be a little bit different. So you need to find out exactly where it is on the configuration page. But when you find this section, you'll find a few options that say router mode, bridge mode, or wireless bridge mode. So you need to select wireless bridge mode and enable it in the router. Then once you select it, it's going to ask you to put in the SSID or the name of the Wi-Fi network and password of the router that you're going to connect to, which in our case will be the router in the main office. Then once that is complete, the second office's router will wirelessly connect to the router in the main office and the two networks will be connected or bridged together, creating one network. So now these are no longer two networks. This is now one local area network, which means that all the computers in both offices can directly communicate with each other. And the computers in the second office can now access the server and they will also be able to access this modem to give them internet access. Now if you watch some of my other videos, I explain that a router is what defines a network. A router is the gateway or doorway to a network. It's what separates a network from another network. So this Wi-Fi router here is no longer acting like a router. It's acting as a wireless bridge to connect this network to this network. And because it's no longer acting like a router, that means its firewall and NAT service is turned off. And its DHCP service, which is a service that automatically assigns IP addresses to devices, is also turned off. So it's no longer assigning these computers IP addresses. But the router in the main office is now in charge of both offices because this is now one network. So it's assigning all the IP addresses to every device in both offices. Now, depending on which brand and model router you're using, some routers, when they are in wireless bridge mode, 
will only pass on the network connection to wired devices that are connected using the router's switch. For example, these desktop computers here are connected to the router using Ethernet cables, which enables them to be part of this one network. However, some routers can do both. The network connection is not only passed on to wired devices connected to the switch, but they will also broadcast their own independent wireless signal so that wireless devices can connect to it and join the network. So for example, this laptop here can wirelessly connect to this router's wireless signal which enables it to be a part of this one network. So for example, I have a Netgear router that when wireless bridge mode is enabled, it passed on the network connection only to wired devices. But with my Linksys router, it passed the network connection to wired devices and it broadcasted a wireless signal for wireless devices to connect to. Now, as a bonus, if we go back into the router's configuration page, some of you might be wondering, well, what is bridge mode? Well, bridge mode does the same thing that wireless bridge mode does, but the only difference is, is that with bridge mode, the routers are connected using a cable rather than being connected wirelessly. So once you select bridge mode, you have to connect the routers together using a network cable by plugging an end to each router's ethernet port. And that's all there is to it. So this concludes the lesson on wireless bridge mode. And if you want to become a member and help support this channel, click the join button below and you'll get access to members only content. So I want to thank everyone for watching this video. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next video.